On August 11th, Cedar Fair and Cedar Point announced the boardwalk coming in 2023 to Cedar Point. On August 13th, the boys and I took a trip to Cedar Point to check out that area. year that it looks like this you can see the grand pavilion building off in the distance they're building that a crane this is where their new coaster is going the wild mouse and it's gonna have a cheese car i'm excited below so you can see it straight from them but you're gonna keep troika 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 the giant wheel the Tiki Twirl, which will come up on in a second, is going to re be renamed Calypso. Right here, you're going to have the Matterhorn. Over here, the Scrambler. Atomic Scrambler, excuse me. And then behind it, right over there, will be a wild mouse with spinning cars. I cannot wait. Their 18th coaster. I am so excited. One thing I'm really excited with the news that Cedar Point and Cedar Fair dropped about what they're doing with the boardwalk is not only the new coaster, because that's exciting, and moving rides is exciting, but I can't wait to see what the sights and sounds in this boardwalk area become. You know, as you look over here, you're going to have two, two flat rides that are fun, energetic rides, a lot of kinetic energy. Behind that is going to be their roller coaster that's going to be a bright yellow and orange color with colorful cars going on it i just can't wait to see the energy that is over here on this side of the park and i think that they've done a great job of really taking the spot and envisioning something that would be family fun family friendly imagine being over here in planet snoopy you're ready to go on and ride a bigger ride and you're looking over at these as a little kid how exciting that would be to be like i can't wait to ride that one then you go and you get a chance to ride that one and cedar points non kitty coaster but first family coaster that you'd be able to ride at 42 inches is going to be that mouse coaster so i'm really excited as to what they're going to do as you can see behind me they're well on the way of building the grand pavilion which we will try and include a picture now now joining the boardwalk will be the matterhorn It'll be moving over there? Wow. That sounds cool. Scrambler is also going to be moving to the boardwalk. Well, it is going to change its name to Atomic Scrambler. Should be exciting. Let's talk about the boardwalk. I wanted to transition to Dragster. So, a lot of speculation going on around Dragster. Will it open? Will it not? They were very clear. Cedar Point was very clear. Tony Clark was clear. It would not open this year. And that led to people thinking, oh, it'll never open, or it's gonna have a new launch system. They're gonna have to change something. One thing that is concrete is that they have turned the lights back on, and I'll get a, a picture later tonight, uh, probably from far away, of the whole tower being lit up. But they've also turned the lights on in the station. And this has been something that has remained dormant on every visit that we've had this year so what does that mean i don't know can't wait for cedar point or tony clark to let us know i i am my guess my guess is that dragster will be back next year and we'll be ready to ride it and we'll be there if that's the case but that is more than likely what is going to happen but again that's a guess so till we know we don't but i can't wait till we do and we'll cover a few more things here for you around Dragster. Just below Dragster's Hill, we have Super Dude. What are you looking at? Green Market. Yeah. What do they mean? Time will tell. But obviously something's coming. All the Green Markets, they go to that building right behind you. There's some yellow ones that join it. Do you remember what that building happens to be? The engine room. For the hydraulics for Dragster, right? Mm -hmm. 
So that means that they're bringing new electricity or something over to that building. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Can't wait to see what happens. I want Dragster back, do you? Yeah. Okay. So we've been talking a lot about Dragster. Yeah. While well, Cedar Point, when they made their announcements this week, Cedar Fair didn't make an announcement on Dragster. But what did they say about that new coaster coming up front? Did they say it would be their 18th coaster? Yeah, which means that they're keeping Dragster. Let's hope. I think that's what it means. Sounds like what that means. Hopefully Cedar Point can confirm that. But right now, instead of it would be closed this year, it's been closed. There's markings all around. Clearly there's some things that are going to happen to this area very soon. Yeah. And we'll have to wait and see what that is. We'll keep you updated when we know more. We're waiting on you, Tony Clark at Cedar Point. Let us know. <laughs> we talked about the new boardwalk. We talked about Top Thrill. But now as we head towards Matterhorn and Scrambler, we get to make our guesses about what's going to happen in the future. Again, nothing's been announced. But this could be fun. Let's take a look and see what are some potential ideas that they have. Or at least how much space do they have to work with. So this area of the park most likely look very different within the next two years. Obviously next year, you have the Scrambler and the Matterhorn, which are gonna be gone. They're gonna be moved to the boardwalk. You do have the bathroom here. Um, I'm sure that'll stay. And then you have Corkscrew, which is clearly aging. Clearly most of these have closed at this point, so it's more than likely nearing the end of its lifespan. So if you look at where Corkscrew is and where the Matterhorn is, and even if you don't look at Corkscrew yet, you come over here. That's the Cedar Fair corporate offices for those that don't know. Over here, that building right there is used for food. You have this whole park area. You see some employees sitting there and then the alleyway in between this building with the vines on it and the brick building, that is where the Cedar Point employees tend to take their lunch. It's like a break area for them. Um, you have this building which is only used for haunted houses. And then as you look over here, you can see Annie Ann's. You got Super Dude excited that he's in the shot. Uh, but there is quite a bit of space here. So when we talk about the space that they're gonna have to work with and do something with, you got the Matterhorn over here, followed by the Scrambler. Again, those bathrooms back there. The Juice Zipper Company, these seating benches, well, tables. You do have Auntie Anne's in the button shop and there's a create your own shirt on the other side. Um, we talked about the building earlier. There is still a ton of space for them to put in a legit huge ride. Just in this space, even leaving Corkscrew, who knows what's gonna happen, if that's gonna go or stay, I don't know. I, either way, it could be fun. Uh, but to put that in perspective, standing here looking at the space that Val Raven takes up, you obviously have your main hill there. And then, you know, this kind of spaghetti bowl section over here. And obviously right over there is the station. You're looking at about the same amount of space, even leaving in Corkscrew. Again, we'll come back over here, the Matterhorn, the Scrambler, where those buildings were behind. So there's quite a lot of space for them to really transform this area do whatever they want with out of the airbrush uh, portion of the building that we were just at. And again, another side to look at here. And you have this large building that is really only used for a haunted house. So I'm sure that it could come out. Maybe storage when it's not being used as a haunted house. But that's what this is right here. But one thing I wanted to bring up, one thing that they could potentially do, is revamp both Planet Snoopy and potentially Kitty Kingdom, maybe create a new kid section using some of the best rides from both and utilize this space over here as well for whatever they want to do moving forward. So whether they want to do a big wooden coaster that you now potentially have enough room, you want to do a big hyper or giga from B&M to help even out the park possibilities. You could do something like a Sky Rush from Hershey Park. Something that would draw in the crowds and help even out the park would be great. But as you look, there's a ton of space over here. There's a ton of great kitty rides. Do we need three kitty areas? 
maybe, probably. But there's definitely room for expansion and options. So Cedar Point, while we're coming up on the boardwalk area, definitely has some areas that they're getting tight in space there. Also, by moving these two rides and potentially moving some other rides in the future, they're putting themselves in a great place to find space at a park where they are landlocked because of the water on every side. So exciting stuff. I can't wait to see what all Cedar Point brings to the table over the next 10 years. You got Scrambler. Next year, it's gonna be Atomic Scrambler and that's exciting. Can't wait to see what kind of new lighting package and colors that they paint on this. But what do you think's coming to this area? Put your comments down below. Let's talk about it. Let's generate a conversation. I can't wait to see what people's ideas are. And who knows, one of us might be right. So let's check that out. Hey, so we've done a lot of walking around today talking about the boardwalk, talking about potentially what's gonna happen with Top Throw Dragster, and then potentially what could happen where Matterhorn and Scrambler are, right? And yeah. potentially, maybe even the removal of the coaster that just went past right yeah, have. potentially so with that said have we had an awesome day here yeah yeah i think that it would be great you guys tell me what if our viewers started commenting on what they thought they're going to do where the matterhorn and scrambler are Ooh, wouldn't that yeah. be great yeah wouldn't you guys like engaging with people and having a conversation about what you think could be coming yeah, so hey, if you haven't, comment below. What do you want to come? What do you think's coming? What's your pipe dream? Hey, so we're coaster dudes. We had a lot of fun talking about the upcoming things here at Cedar Point. But you can help us beat those YouTube algorithms. Please like and subscribe. And leave a comment down below. And with that, we are all clear. And, and out of here. here. Good job. What do you guys think? I think a fun way to end this video is to take a ride on Matterhorn and on Scrambler. Yeah. I like Scrambler. Yeah, it's going to be a Tom Scrambler. It's going to be rethemed. So I'm sure they're going to update the lights and whatnot. Should be fun. Yeah.